from you guys and tell me what do you think that the number of people that have been able to take a uh, either a cold meeting or have attended an event entirely from somebody they've never heard from before. So we have a lot of things. Oh, now everything's starting to come in all the way through here. So we have a lot of people saying A, 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 a few Bs, a few Cs, um, an A, A, 13%, A, 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 B, 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 B. Oh my goodness, you guys, I want to tell you that you're all wrong. You're all wrong. Oh my goodness, you guys, the actual answer is, if anyone wants to throw it in there real quick, the actual answer is 78%. 78% of decision makers have at some point in time taken a meeting or have accepted an inv invite from somebody, entirely from somebody they didn't know. This is entirely based on compelling conversation, right? Now, I don't want you to think that every single time somebody approaches them, they're going to accept this, right? Or that 78% of all requests they're going to accept. That is not what the question is here. The question is, has they, have you ever accepted a request from somebody that you have, you've never had an interaction with before? So 78%, eight out of 10 people, you guys, right? This should be mind boggling for you, all right? Number one, that means because if you have a chance, if you create a compelling enough event, right? If, even if you know, have no interaction with this person before, you have the opportunity to say yes. Now, I have had this both in my corporate sales experience as well as in my entrepreneurial experience. I have done that as um, for both, you know, selling people on our programs as well as, we're gonna talk about this in a second here, bigger sponsorship as well, depending on what you're trying to do. But at the end of the day, a sale is a sale. Now, I read a, um, a tweet actually not too long ago from Mark Cuban. So Mark Cuban, um, Dallas Mavericks owner, right? Like massive millionaire and everything. He recently posted out his phone number online and he says, go ahead and text me, go and text me. And he, he immediately said within like 24 hours of texting, he actually did accept a meeting from somebody who texted him because he had a compelling enough offer. So first of all,